Alrighty. So I was uh, running around the house today <clears throat> trying to clean stuff up a little bit. And uh, we got a lot of a lot of little stuff that just needs to be thrown out. And then I came up with the brilliant idea of why throw it out? Why don't I make something with it? So uh, I gathered up a few more items that didn't necessarily need to be thrown out. I'm going to combine it all together and I'm going to make me some catfish bait. So, uh, got me some liver, which I'm the only one in the house that eats it, so that's not a big loss, I guess. Got some, a box of corn muffin mix. Got a very, very, very small amount of brown sugar that has probably been sitting in there for six months. Going to use that. <clears throat> uh, some stale crackers that I got with a meal somewhere. No idea. Uh, these little soup oyster crackers, which again are probably four or five months old. And they've been opened and set open, so those aren't any good to really be eating. Uh, This little mix right here, we've tried. It's uh, it's kind of like a little rice type grain, and uh, we're not wholly enthusiastic about it. I mean, we would eat it if that's all we had left, but we're not really big eaters of this at the house. It's roasted garlic and fine herbs, so I figured this would be a nice filler. I'm gonna <coughs> throw that in there. <coughs> Uh, little ham glaze mix. It's a uh, basically just sugar and brown sugar and some honey powder and nice and sweet. Uh, I have no idea where even where we've had this, but I this has probably been around the house for a couple years now, actually. So that's gonna go. Uh, some rice cereal, single single grain rice cereal mix for kids, for babies. Uh, this was in my my stash, my prepper stash of you know food, so I'm not really sure. Uh, that's going in there. Uh, got some peanut butter. Gotta have some peanut butter. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh. I made some eggs today, and uh, there's still egg in there in the shells. I don't know. I may crunch those up really fine and use a little bit of that. I'm not even really sure. Uh, this agave nectar, kind of a syrupy honey stuff. Uh, none of us here at the house are massive fans of it, so this is some nice, sweet, sticky stuff that we can add. The last remnants of some chopped onions and garlic powder. This was just about gone, and I figured it'd be a good opportunity to to use these up finally. And back here, I have a little thing of flour. I have a little thing of some cheese, and then some dog food and then over there there in the corner there you see the little coffee grinder which I don't drink coffee I use it to grind up stuff like this really so anyway uh, all that I'm going to mix up into a goo and uh, maybe a few other things if I see it on the way and we're gonna make ourselves some uh, catfish bait and uh, we just might go fishing tomorrow and sit around all day and do some catfishing. Alrighty, so I got this stuff opened up. I got the liver cut up a little bit. Put that down, down there. And I'm going to use this little chopper on it. Try to get it a little more. It's still frozen to some degree, which... easier to cut up oh yeah and that 
that's all nice and gooey. Do this a little bit more and I'll get right back with you. Alrighty, we're back. And let's just kind of pull some of that out of there. And I'm going to put all of that liver right into this. Mmm, don't that look good? Alright. That goes right up in there. Alrighty, we're going to stick with our whatever we've got lying around the house and was going to throw away philosophy here. And we'll add the last little little chunks of brown sugar there. And throw in this baby formula rice. That's going to have to taste good. And we got this glaze here. Oh yeah, we got to mix that up in there. Oh yeah, whoo, that's smelling good. So we'll crunch those up here a little bit. Okay, we got to, can't forget the nice oniony smell. And the fantastic garlic smell, that's fantastic for catfish. Alrighty, so we're going to have to add a little bit of liquid to this so we can start mooshing it around. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is add a little bit of this nice yummy used grease. A little bit of that. It's got all kinds of nice little flavors in it. Just, woo, I hit the, getting so excited I'm knocking the camera over. Alright, so now we're going to start... Mushing that all together in a nice little mixture here. There we go. It's kind of like making a meatloaf. We're making a meatloaf for catfish. Hmm. Well, like can't say that it doesn't smell bad at this point. Alrighty, so I'm going to go wash my hands and we'll continue. Alrighty, we got the, the crackers in here, so we're going to grind those up. That's plenty good right there. Well. Take those and add those to the mix. Alrighty. And let's reach over here. Grab some of this quinoa. Continue with more crap. Alrighty. Uh, let's add a little bit of ooh, nice sweet honey stuff. Nice. Gotta um, have peanut butter. Add that one in there. I think I'm going to save the other two for me. Alrighty. I'm just going to move those out of the way. 
Alrighty, let's get up in here and let's do a little bit of mixing. That's starting to I think I should have smelled it so deeply. Anyway, yes. Now we're starting to work. Alrighty. Now we're going to add some dog food. Because, well, self respecting catfish doesn't like dog food. Now I like to really get my hands in there and just taking a big old handful of that stuff and I'm just squeezing it through my fingers and getting it all nice and mixed up. Cheese. You gotta have cheese. Oh, that's, yeah. That's really starting to work nicely. So I'm going to continue to do this and I'll get right back with you. Okay, at this point, it's, uh, it's all the ingredients. I still got some more dog food here, but I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to need it. What I'm, now what I'm going to do is just start making it into a dough by adding flour and corn muffin mix. Add just a little bit of flour here. Just enough to kind of start working on it, making it into a more of a dough. So I want it to be a dough. So I think what I'm going to do is put some flour down here. There we go. Just Kind of spread that out a little bit here. And I'm going to take this concoction. There we go. And just dump it on there. Woo! Whew. Lord have mercy. I think I've made a monster. So here we go. Now, all that we're going to do now. I'm just going to try to make this into a cohesive dough and I will get back with you as soon as I get close. Alrighty, it's uh, kind of a dough now. Took a little bit more flour. Use that whole, yeah, see what this, oh, Lord. So anyway, here it is. Now all I have to do is, uh, mold it up into little balls and package it and I'll get right back to you alrighty so taking off little pieces here just rolling them in my hands making nice little balls I did these but they're kind of too big make smaller ones See what we got here. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that big one there 
I'm going to slice it up and put it into small uh, packages and put it in the freezer and then I'll take these balls that I've made and whew, put those in the refrigerator for tomorrow so I'll get right back with you alrighty so I've got uh, 21 little balls right here and that's gonna be plenty I'm sure if it's not plenty I'm gonna have to review this tape or tape review this video and see what I put in there because I don't even remember right at this moment because uh, I'm gonna have to make uh, make a business out of this if I use 21 of them tomorrow so anyway I'm just gonna cut this up into uh, sections here there we go one I'm gonna make each one of these a section two three Five, six, seven. And I'll leave that last one as itself as, as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight sections. So I'm just going to put them in baggies and uh, stick them in the freezer. And I got my 21 balls that I have uh, already made up and do a little bit of catfishing. We'll see what goes on. <laughs> 